We got maximum gold leaks. We got the first Starlight Rares besides Hita. And I'm not going to talk about the new pot in this video. I'm going to do that tomorrow afternoon uh, because I think that card warrants its own discussion point because it is honestly a very interesting card. Hmm. So let's kind of dig on in here and see what we got for the maximum gold leaks in Phantom Rage. So our first beautiful prismatic i'm actually kind of disappointed that they chose this one but it is what it is of course is the what is this the armageddon knight for uh phantom knights okay makes sense to me i understand this all right it, it would be surprising if it was anything else and we also got zoo king alpha as the prismatic rare this also should be no surprise they typically will take the power card in the set um makes me wonder if uh, zeus isn't the other one uh in terms of prismatic rares and things for value so your first two prismatics are in fact phantom knight um armageddon knight <laughs> as we're gonna call him and zoo king alpha lad uh and then Hita. so we have three of them now Earlier today, while I was hibernating, we got what we like to call the leak, right? Ruggles, Sam, MSTTV, I believe, also. There was a huge bust on Gold Series, and we got to we had to see how some of these Gold Rares look. So we're going to kind of cover everything that we got. We got the alternate arts for some of these cards, and... Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am so freaking happy. I, I, okay. B before we get into this, I do want to say that from what I've seen, the freaking new gold rare looks absolutely gorgeous. It is one of the coolest rarities I think I've seen in the game. It pops so freaking nicely. And I don't think this video will really do it justice. You guys might want to dig through some of the things. Uh, but this is your compilation video dun, 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 on what we have coming here. And I will say it is really disappointing because I don't think that they put any new cards in Gold Series this year. I think it is the 160 card reprint set, which is really disappointing because we really wanted something to spice it up the metagame. Uh, and if they're just truly making Gold Series a reprint set, also we're one step closer to that spoiler being real. What a shocker. So the first big one that we got was Harpy's Feather Dust. And now look how this pops. All right, this is so freaking beautiful. Oh my God, this. I, because of the way that these look, now of course there is the, I, the, the, the bigger gold, and then there's the regular gold, but the, these versions have the gold border that just pop so freaking nice, alright, I might actually consider playing this gold because these look so good, here you go, you're gonna have a money card in your hands right here, I expect these, so what I saw from ratios, it was what, uh, one of, two of these per box which maybe, maybe I think it was two what I saw but looking at how good these look this is going to be a very nice price tag the regular not shiny bling ones will be a little bit less but that's fine this is a very good start though I, I expect very good solid value out of this next up Super Poly also got the gold um, this kind of hurts me on the inside because what is the point to this? We just got an OTS ulti for this. I guess you can, I guess you can be like, well, I can't afford ultimate rare, so I'll just pick these up along the way. And I, I guess I get that mentality, but this doesn't. This one doesn't pop as well to me. Maybe it's the lighting present on the picture here, uh, but I feel like we could have done a whole lot better with this one. Next up, Utopia got his nineteenth quadrillion reprint. Uh, the Lightning is one of the most reprinted cards in the game. I guess Konami just doesn't want us to be without this card, and I get that. All right, Considering how much of a toolbox card that this was at the beginning of his life, um, I definitely wouldn't want to be without this either. So I guess I get this reprint. Next up, Solemn J-Man. This, this brings me back to the original Gold Rare, actually, at this angle. Now, as you can see here, you can see the border difference here between this and the card underneath. But you can clearly tell that the bling bling tree is coming. Uh, Chaos Dragon Lavinier also got another reprint, also in the, the Golder rare. 
Um, Chaos Dragon, I'm glad that they're continuing to reprint these. Um, that way we don't lose any real crazy value with these. But I do think that this is a good step in the right direction. Um, even though it's not a fantastic reprint, it's something that the player base likes to play. So that's acceptable, in my opinion. Kagari. Look at that gold border. That is so beautiful. I... I I'm a sucker for good looking cards and this, a lot of people always were like gold hasn't looked good. I think the gold ghost rare looked good, but another good example here of what's to come through the Kagari. All right. For spoiler. Um, oh, this is all, look at that freaking gold border. I want an Appalosa in this specific gold fashion just because of how well it pops. Alright, Konami got me sold here, alright? Uh, like I said, I'm a sucker for some nice rarity, and mm -mm -mm, that pops. Man, the only thing is, like, you, you slap this down on the table, it's going to reflect in your eyes, your opponent's going to know that you're bling bling blowing them. Um, Who Cake, this isn't all the bling bling blow here, but of course, Hooters always needs more reprints, considering that this card... Uh, used to be money but here we are at the end of the day uh still trucking on along so mr hoot cake himself in the set i guess it's good herald of the arc light i believe this was from ruggles actually that pulled this um i i agree with ruggles look how those freaking stars pop baby this is so freaking nice ah the full frame pop the whole edges, it's so beautiful underneath the light. The other sad thing is like, yeah, you have regular gold, and then you have this. All right, so you're going to have to get the, the gold or gold. Um, I'm glad that this was in here. This was something that we needed a reprint on for a little while, Mr. Galaxy Destroyer himself. Um, it's not insane value, but once again, this will be something that, uh, considering it's only had one print previously, yeah. Uh once again, Dark Rebellion here. This also pops. Look at that hot freaking gold border. Um, and basically, this was another one of those that needed the reprint. I mean, they're pushing Phantom Knights. All right, like this is something that you need for the full combo. So this was also good. Toad also got its reprint in here as an ultra rare coming from its previous editions as secret rares. Um, we'll take this. I'm not exactly sure the real craziness in value in this but all right once again this isn't uh too bad i actually want to see how weird this looks with the straight gold on the edges all right ah look at that this was another one that i saw that ruggles had earlier so he compared this to the previous gold night and day all right once again you can see the edges blinging out in your face the stars popping Fantastic job. Uh, Dryden, this is also another one. L look how this pops. I wonder if you feel over them if they're like embossed. All right. That'd be freaking cool. All right. So here's the alternate art for Droll and Lockbird. Now, I think that this is particularly cool. I'm honestly looking forward to getting a playset of these with the Golden Boss. I have supers. I could have had ultis, but I feel like that this is good. Um, Dragon Maid Show, or Dra House Dragon Maid, my bad. See the Nibiru down there. Uh, Chamber Dragon Maid also looks very gorgeous. Man, that gold pops. Mr. Dragon Boral Spada. <laughs> this also looks really nice. I, I, I'm in love. I think that was our other alternate. Right? Hey, look, the thing that confirms the spoiler. Of course we have to have the Golden Lord in the Golden set, right? It only makes sense. Uh, there's your Nibiru. Look how good that pops. Nice. And then we have the alternate art Phantasme. Um, I believe this was also from Ruggles as well. But look look at this. I'm actually surprised that they gave us an alternate art Phantasme, but it is a metagame card. So it does make sense at the end of the day. And then we also have Inintes and Marshall Metal Marcher. I believe this was from Nim Nim, from what I saw. And then we also got the Infinite Impermanence. Which looks very freaking nice. All of these gold cards are beautiful. So guys, what do you think about everything that is coming along with this stuff? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. 
I think that this set looks very gorgeous, and it's only going to get better as we get the chance to get these cards in our hands. All right, guys, I'm out. Take care. Peace. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCall40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCall40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.